And as America started celebrating its 238th birthday, Hurricane Arthur crashed ashore overnight. The Category 2 storm hit North Carolina with 100 mile an hour winds and heavy rain. Arthur will race up the East Coast today, staying just offshore. Our correspondents are stationed along the Atlantic coast this morning. We begin with Susan McGinnis in Nags Head, North Carolina, near the eye of the storm. Susan, good morning. Good morning. Thousands of people are waking up here across the Outer Banks this July 4th to survey the damage after Hurricane Arthur slammed in here and made landfall late last night. Overnight, Arthur swept through eastern North Carolina, strengthening into a Category 2 hurricane. It is a devastating mix. Winds gusting over 100 miles per hour and torrential rains are pummeling the Outer Banks. Late last night, officials tracking the storm were not expecting Arthur to change course, pushing deeper into the state and putting thousands more in its destructive path. So most people who have been concerned have been directly on the coast. Now we have concerns about people um, inland who may be uh, impacted by potential flooding and rivers um, going over their banks. More than two dozen counties are in a state of emergency. Look at that. With the threat of serious flooding, thousands have been forced to leave. Many are now set up in shelters, waiting for the worst of the storm to pass. We didn't know what uh, was going to happen on the beach. We don't want to take any chances, so we figured we'd just come here. As Hurricane Arthur continues to barrel its way along the Atlantic coast, people are being urged to stay inside and stay safe. This is a serious storm. Please be safe and be smart, then we'll all get to enjoy the wonderful 4th of July weekend. Now, it'll be a few hours before officials get a real sense of the damage, and it may be hard to believe, Anthony, but officials here say it is expected to be a gorgeous day after tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday.